CD0 track 1. How many tracks we have on here? 99. That's quite a few. So when you look in the back of the gold wing and you go inside the trunk, this is what you have. Okay, before beginning, one of the important things we want to do is uh, organize the music that we uh, rip from our uh, DVDs and CDs. Okay, we've launched the uh, Goldwyn Virtual CD Music uh, Manager software, and as you can see in the background, I still have my uh, uh, Internet uh, File Explorer running, and I've got my folders here, the public music, and I've got all the artists uh, uh, beneath that. Over here on the uh, uh, Music Manager, you'll see the screen over on the left-hand side is blank. So in order to uh, populate the, uh, the screen with uh, music, simply just grab a, uh, uh, a folder, in this case Bob Dylan, drag it over here, and then drop it in the Public Music Manager. Uh, I've got uh, Boney James. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to drag it over here, and I'm going to drop it in there. No Boney James is added. Uh, the Commodores. We'll add the Commodores. We'll drag and drop that in there. Uh, let's see, we'll go down to the bottom. Vanessa Williams from the bottom. Uh, what we've got now, we've got approximately 112 songs uh, in, the, uh, in the folder currently. Uh, if, now, if we really want to uh, you know, include everything, I could e actually take the public music folder and drag it over there and uh, wait for it to populate the, uh, the directories. As you can see up here on the source, it, it's counting up. It's 400, uh, 500 uh, songs. So it's, it's, it's quickly adding the songs to the, uh, uh, to the music tool. So while that's loading, I'm going to minimize the, uh, the file manager over here. and I'm going to drag the window over so we can see it a little closer. Now the right hand side you see is blank and the reason is you haven't told it the number of CD volumes you want to populate. So down here there's a drop down menu and uh, for my motorcycle it supports 10 CD volumes. Uh, earlier versions may only support uh, 6 or 9. So I'll select the 10. As you can see uh, from the display we've got uh, CD uh, 1 through CD 9 plus CD 0. Now CD 0 is actually CD 10 uh, in the order that things occur. Now notice we're still loading the music. Uh, one way to populate the right hand side is I can go over here and I can click a song and I can do a shift click to select a block of songs just drag that over to the right hand side and now what I've done is I've moved those songs from the left side to the right side so here's a song let's say I don't really want over here so I'll just take that song and I'm gonna drag it back over to the left side I've just removed it from the, the destination and put it back into the source so I'm gonna create a, a CD or a a thumb drive that contains 99 songs for all 10 CD volumes. This uh, load random 99 songs is the quickest way to do that. So what I'll do here is I'll uh, select CD1, I'll load 99 songs, CD2, 99, basically it's just uh, randomly loading 99 songs from the left side and put it into the right side. And when I'm done I will have 990 uh, song candidates added from the list on the left to the uh, list on the right. And you can see quickly I've just uh, created uh, 990 songs total. So you can see down here in the right hand corner each uh, volume is shown on the bottom is showing uh, 99 songs each. Now for us to uh, cut a, uh, a thumb drive we go to the uh, file menu and we're going to copy the CD collection to a thumb drive. Here you'll see various uh, options that uh, you can select for, for the different motorcycle, you know, Goldwing year that you have uh, and the number of volumes that it supports. In my case, I, I've selected the, the 10 disc copy. But if you have an older version or uh, one with the airbag, you may only uh, support 6 discs. So you could select the 6 discs in order to do the copy. Okay, now that we've got uh, all the songs populated in the destination uh, uh, listing on the right, we're ready to copy to a thumb drive. And I've just uh, mounted a thumb drive into the computer. Uh, I'll go to the Windows Explorer, just quickly uh, see, show you where it is. Uh, there's George. 
and George currently has a bunch of folders uh, that I've recorded from uh, uh, a previous uh, test. So I'm going to go close this and show you a, a little feature of how this uh, software works. One of the things I want to do first is I want to set the destination drive folder path. So I go to the file menu. Uh, it brings up a, a browse for folder. Go to my computer. Click on George. Do an OK. And you'll see that up here in the destination drive and directory, you'll see the uh, F uh, drive shows up. And that is the uh, thumb drive, the USB thumb drive that I want to copy to. So now we're going to go to file, and I know I need to clean it, so I'll do the clean. There's a listing of all the music tracks on there I'm about to delete. Uh, I've reviewed the list. As you can see, it lists all the songs. You know, and it just double checks to make sure that this is what you want to do. Then I do an OK. It says, are you really sure you want to delete and clean these? And I say yes. And now it's in the process of uh, cleaning the thumb drive. All files have been cleaned. So now I'm ready to do the copy. So I'll go up to the, uh, the file menu, I'll uh, copy the uh, CD collection to the thumb drive. I've got a 10 disc, 9 disc, or 6 disc uh, option. I've also got options down here for a cell phone or other MP3 players. Now for my motorcycle, I showed you before that uh, I support 10 CD volume. So I'm going to click the 10 CD uh, option right here. Now I'm going to start the copy. And as you can see, uh, the, the songs start from the from and the to, and it's starting to do the copy. From the hard drive on my laptop uh, to the thumb drive. Okay, now that we've completed writing the uh, thumb drive, uh, I'll go over here to the file menu. And one of the options I have is I can save the current configuration. So I'll click on Save the you know, Current Configuration. And this brings up a menu where I can uh, type in the name of the song. And uh, I'll just call it, uh, you know, My Test. You can call it anything you want. And then what I've done at this point when I click the Save button, I've saved my test so that and, uh, if, if I go up here to File, and edit and I say clear everything clear the source listing clear clear everything clear all that's what I want then what I can do is I can go back in here I can restore the previous configuration which is my test.cfg and voila everything gets reloaded again at a, at a later date I can come back and I can restore this thumb drive to the exact configuration of what I created here today for this example. Well some of you may ask well what if I don't have uh, 10 CDs per volume? What if I only have six? So you go over here and you can select the drop down menu for number of CD volumes. I'll select six. And let's say uh, you only have uh, a total supported number of songs of 54 songs uh, per CD. I'll select this uh, option right here. As you can see, CD0 went blank. Nine is, you know, you, you can't uh, add to it. You get down to six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can see that the uh, system is ready to uh, load the destination uh, drive with songs. So here it says load, random load 54 songs. I'll uh, random load 54 songs for CD1, I'll repeat that for CD2, uh, CD3, CD4, CD5, uh, CD6. Now let's say for example I don't like this song here. I can select it, drag it back over to the left. I can pick another one from the left. I can drag it over to the right to replace the one I just took out. I can also uh, do a block select here. I can drag these songs back over here to the left. I can collect another block of songs from the left and drag them over to the right. Uh, other things I can do is I can take a song here, so let's say I don't want it to play in this position, I can drag it up. So now I can change the order of the songs uh, uh, that they'll be playing. Then once I'm done, I can go over here to the file menu. I can uh, copy it to an external thumb drive. I would want to select the six disk option and then start the copy to my uh, cleaned out thumb drive and then you're good to go.